cryptocurrency has gone absolutely bonkers in the past year. Bitcoin's up six times, Ethereum's up 15 times, and Dogecoin is up 160x. Hey team, Sid here with DevOps Directive, where it's my job to help you level up your DevOps and cloud infrastructure skills. At this point, you're probably wondering, what the heck does the rise of cryptocurrency have to do with DevOps and cloud infrastructure? The connection has to do with the fact that many of these cryptocurrency systems incorporate the concept of proof of work, in which miners solve cryptographic puzzles and are rewarded with some amount of the currency in return. Independently, SaaS continuous integration platforms such as GitHub Actions, GitLab CI, and Layer CI have historically offered generous free tiers to incentivize users getting started with their platforms. So, over here, we have access to free compute, and over there, we have internet money that requires compute to claim. In the middle, we have greedy people. Before I continue, I'll issue a disclaimer. Do not attempt to mine crypto within CI systems. It's against their terms of service and is a drain on the entire system. Okay, with that out of the way, let's take a look at how these attacks are being carried out. The first and simpler of the two is to have a repository that schedules CI workflows across many systems. One repo, but on a cron schedule, calls out to Travis CI, Circle CI, GitHub Actions, etc. According to this article from Layer CI, some repos using this approach were making tens of dollars per month mining crypto in this way. The second attack vector is a bit more interesting. It was discovered earlier this year and involves an attacker forking a legitimate repo, adding some bad code, and then creating a malicious pull request back to the original repo. Because many repos have things configured to validate incoming pull requests with automated workflows, the attack doesn't actually require the owner of the clean repo to take any action before the crypto miners executed. These attackers then automate this across tens or hundreds of different repositories. It's both inconvenient for the project maintainers and a costly drain of resources for the CI providers. The CI providers are aware of these attacks and are building increasingly sophisticated algorithms to detect and stop them. Also, many of them are reducing the free tier offerings. This type of system abuse is a strong reminder that even development systems are susceptible to attack and you can't trust people to do the right thing, especially when they have direct monetary incentives not to. Hopefully, these providers are able to adequately squash this threat and it doesn't completely ruin the free tier offerings that are so important for small projects that can't afford to pay for such a service. If you want to continue down the DevOps rabbit hole, I would recommend you check out one of my other videos over there. That's it for today. Remember, just keep building. <laughs>